Why does hell exist? Hell is a concept that has captured the human imagination for millennia, rooted deeply in religious teachings and more specifically vividly described in the Christian Bible. It's a place of punishment, darkness and eternal separation from God, often evoking fear and serving as a profound deterrent for sinful behavior. But why does such a place exist? What purpose does it serve according to biblical scriptures? Let's explore these questions drawing from biblical texts to understand the nature and necessity of hell. Hell is described in the Bible with a variety of terms that conjure images of unending fire, darkness and torment. In Matthew 25, 41, hell is depicted as an eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels, indicating not only its perpetual nature, but also its original intention. It's a realm distinctly made for the purpose of divine justice, separate from the divine presence of God. Revelations 20.10 further states that the devil who deceives will be thrown into the lake of burning sulfur, where he will be tormented day and night forever and ever. Moreover, the concept of hell as a place of darkness is illustrated in Matthew 22.13, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. This phrase suggests not only physical pain, but also the profound despair of being cut off from the benevolence of God. One of the primary reasons hell exists, according to the Bible, is to maintain divine justice. Romans 6.23 starkly reminds us that the wages of sin is death, but it also presents hell as the ultimate consequence of unrepentant sinning, balancing the scales of moral order in the universe. This establishes a system where moral actions are essential and there is a divine accountability that maintains cosmic order. God's justice system is portrayed as impeccably fair. 2 Thessalonians 1.6.9 explains that it is a righteous thing for God to repay with tribulation those who trouble the righteous. It underscores the idea that hell is not only a mechanism of punishment, but also a deterrent that upholds moral behavior by making an example of the consequences of evil actions. Another significant aspect of the existence of hell is tied to the concept of free will. The Bible presents life as a series of choices with eternal implications. Deuteronomy 30.19 urges people to choose life so that they and their descendants may live by loving and obeying God. This freedom to choose between good and evil means that there must be consequences for the choices made. Hell, therefore, exists as a stark reminder of the gravity of those choices. Hell emphasizes the seriousness of rejecting God's ways. In Luke 16, 19, 31, the parable of the rich man and Lazarus illustrates a chasm fixed between heaven and hell, signifying an irreversible finality based on earthly choices. Finally, hell exists to uphold and reflect the holiness of God. Habakkuk 1.13 notes that God's eyes are too pure to look on evil, and he cannot tolerate wrongdoing. Hell is a direct counterpoint to the purity and holiness of God, serving as a repository for sin that cannot exist in God's direct presence. Hell, according to the Christian Bible, is a complex institution that serves multiple divine purposes, executing justice, enabling free will, deterring sinful behavior, and underscoring the holiness of God. It's a concept that, while frightening, emphasizes the stark realities of moral choices and the ultimate sovereignty of God over creation. While the fear of hell can be overwhelming, it is intended in Scripture not just to scare, but to guide humanity towards a path of righteousness, aligning with God's will and the eternal goodness He represents.